Don't forget to buy one of these. You could rent them, but I don't even remember how much I paid for this thing. Probably 15 or 20 bucks. But I bought this back in 1997 for my first car to put a Grant steering wheel on. And I've used it many, many times. It stays in the toolbox and it's always there if you need it. First things first, you're going to pop this off. It's just loaded with two little spring clips on there. It goes in there, pop that off. And then you'll see this retainer here. It's got three Phillips head or slotted screws, whichever one you want. So go ahead and get those off. Now that you have those screws removed, the horn lever just kind of pulls right off. Make sure we don't misplace that. And this is what it looks like so far. So now you see this little spacer here. Pull that off. Pull this piece of metal off. This is the contact for your horn switch there every time you hit the lever. And then it looks like these two outside holes are the ones the steering wheel puller is going to hook into. Now take a three quarter inch socket or 19 millimeter, three quarter inch. You put that on there. I already broke it loose before I turn the camera on. But you get that on that retaining nut. Lefty loosey righty tighty. Now that you have that off, get yourself your steering wheel puller. Get the bolts lined up and center up the, the middle uh, screw there and I'll show that in a second. So now I have the bolts threaded into the steering wheel hub itself and I have the little spacer goes on here so you don't grind against the, the stud I'm assuming. Then you put your wrench on the pulley. You just tighten it up and then I'll show you in a second. And after just a couple good turns that comes right off. And there is your um, turn signal switch and what's called the canceling cam. This is what operates your turn signals there.